In this video, I'm going to be making one of my flags. Um, I get asked a lot of questions about these and uh, get requests for them, so I'm going to show you how I do these with a heavy gloss medium. And this is actually one of my finished flags here. So let me set that up. I can get to work. Um, I start out by just doing just really, really quick with acrylics just to get an idea of where I want all my colors to be. And when I talk about a heavy gloss medium, I use golden heavy gel gloss. That's it. It just, it's kind of a sticky looking pasty substance and it mixes really well with any paint. Um, I generally use a pretty inexpensive craft paint. Um, so let's get started. Okay, I have already pre-mixed my colors so that I could just get to work here. And I am going to start with white. There's really no rhyme or reason to where I start um, other than blue. I, I do wait till the end for blue just because I kind of bring my blue like it is here. I kind of bring my blue this direction. So I do tend to, like, tend to do that last. And I start by just getting a swipe onto the area that I'm going to work. And then I start making my texture. And with this, I'm just going to go kind of back and forth, just build up just a little bit of texture across this one stripe. And the harder you push with your spatula, notice I am using a spatula and not a brush, um, the more texture wipes off. The harder you push, the more you're going to wipe. So if you want kind of these up um, marks, then kind of bring it up, almost like you're working with meringue. If you've ever worked with meringue on the top of a pie, it's, it's kind of that type of consistency. And this video is going to be kind of long. And I know it'll be way too long for anybody to watch the whole video if I left it for the full length of time. These pictures can take me sometimes a little over an hour depending on the little details that I decide to put into them. So I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking because we're probably going to do a lot of fast forwarding so that you can just kind of watch as the work gets done. And I don't mind at all. You can see where the white came over into this one just a little bit. I don't have any problem with that. Um, I tend to mix my colors a little bit when I get to the end anyways, just because I like to give each line just a, you know, a little bit of character. So I don't uh, worry about that too much yet. I said, don't worry about where those 
colors come together a little bit. I really like the character they did when they blend like that. Like, this is not meant to be a precise flag. It's something sewn out of fabric, so it's okay to have those little incidents. So I have my basics done now. Um, I'll show you this one again. As you can see, this has a lot of character in it, um, a lot of different shades within each color. So that's what I'm going to work on next.
this is just a really, really light touch that I'm doing now, just super light, just to get a tiny bit of this. This is actually a third color that I'm going with here. I did the white, and then I did a cream, very, very lightly. And now this is, this one's called Sand. Uh, it's just the craft paint name I've given to it. I'm actually going back over just a little bit of this with a little bit of white, just to add a little bit more depth of color here. Just like I did with the um, white, I'm just touching with the third color here just to add a little bit more depth to the color.
you know. You need you need light touches that I don't have just to add these extra colors. And when I bring them across, I just kind of like to bring them into this field where these red and white is just a little bit. I like to drag my blue here and there around my painting also, just, just tiny, tiny bit, not as much, just a little, I'm doing a little heavy down here because I was hoping special sun would be down that corner, and you'll, you'll see that start to happen in just a couple minutes here. a little bit of this, I won't let it be quite so dark in a few minutes. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm gonna come back and touch some of these spots with my red. Take my mouse and go just a little bit. Not move, I don't want it to evasive. You'll see the reasoning for this in just a minute. I know I seem to be being a little unorthodox, but promise there is a reason for it. <laughs> 